Where are we at, April? I don't want to talk. <laughs> She's not happy with me. We're about to do the Precipice Trail. That's what we're at. very beginning here in Arcadia National Park. You should know I'm not like others. You should know I'm not the one. If you trust me with your feelings. You wanna run Only in my dreams Only in my dreams I play fair I don't make you leave Oh, oh my god Why is it so hard to love Only in my head Only in my head I'm the person I should be instead Oh, oh my god I'm too rough Around the edges Hey you guys Thanks for joining me on another journey. We're in Acadia National Park and we're doing the precipice hike. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. But I'm freaking the fuck out, so. Okay, you're usually fine with the up part on this. What help, you... help me with. What do you need? You want me to help you more mentally or? Yes. Okay. You know you have this. You've done Angel's Landing. You just got done doing the Beehive. You are an excellent hiker. You've been on kind of all kinds of trails all over the world. Yeah, but my balance sucks. Your balance is always suck. Yeah, but vertigo. Yeah, I know you got a little vertigo, but you don't actually fall. I fall more than you do. Look at these colors. The anticipation is high. You got a little bit of butterflies in your stomach, not knowing. Punch you in that stomach. <laughs> not knowing what to expect. All the signs on the trail are warning you to be an expert hiker. So, and the line starts. What do you think? Okay. Um, I'm with you. I'm right there. I can't get my leg up that high. Okay, hang on. And then put your left leg up there instead. I can't. No, climb the wall. Where? Just put your foot against the wall and just- No, it doesn't stay. Pull yourself up on your upper body. I can't. You, you got it? I can't. You got it? You got it. This is the place that you turn around if you're gonna turn around. April, turn around. No, I am trying to do it. Okay. Here, take the keys. Forgot. Go ahead, guys. I want to do it. You don't have to though. I don't want you to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go finish it up. I started it. I'm gonna finish it. I'll see you at the car. Two hours. Just come back and get me in two hours. Ugh. See you in two hours. Well, unfortunately, April bailed. I give her props. That the first one that you come to is in any indication of what's up ahead. This is going to be one crazy hard trail. You guys can go. So use you as a guinea pig. Oh, I see why. Oh yeah, show off. Wait, let's this keep up with that. Right? If he if he falls, don't go that way. Exactly. April's so mad at me for doing this hike. She didn't want to come on it at all. She had super anxiety over it. And that is the path. See all the blue dots? The blue dots tell you to stay on the trail. This is uh, absolutely amazing. Been on this one before? Uh, that's my first time on this trail. I have never done this one. And, and honestly, I wish I would have because April could do this all day long. But she just didn't know. And that first step's a doozy. <laughs> Watch out for that first step, it's a doozy. Yeah, that, that first one, I think they do that on purpose to, if anyone can't do that one. If you can't do that one, you're not gonna make it anywhere else. All right, here we go. Give yourself lots of room to slide. Just not off. That would suck. I know that didn't look scary on TV, but on YouTube, that was. I've been here at Schooner Cove, I believe it is. Getting some ocean therapy while Wayne's off doing precipice without me. I tried, but I wonder if I maybe didn't try hard enough. I've been feeling pretty pitiful. I kind of feel like a failure. But I'll come to terms with it eventually. Hopefully it hasn't robbed me too much of my glory from doing beehive. 
I know that doesn't look graceful, but. Uh uh, it's just accomplishing. That's all it is. Can I accomplish this? It's all in your head. Right, the death part needs to stay out. The heavily, seriously injured needs to stay out as well. My gimbal is messed up. I give my gimbal and my camera hell. The easy section. About time. <laughs> wow, absolutely amazing. We went hunting mushrooms yesterday. Oh, there you go. Do that you guys was different. Know, do you know mushrooms? No, we had a guide, uh, oh. link below. But we had a guide, Willow, that uh, took us out mushroom foraging. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, I always wanted to do that. She was uh, very knowledgeable. I didn't understand a quarter of what she was saying. It was mostly in Latin, but it was really cool to see the different types of mushrooms. I was talking to somebody on the trail. I didn't realize that you couldn't do this year round about doing the precipice hike. And I did not know this, and I don't know if it's true or not. You need to check to see what time of year you're coming to do the precipice. It's not open year round. I guess there's some falcons that live up there and they get territorial. Obviously you gotta leave nature alone. Okay, this is getting a little crazy. Gets even crazier? Yeah. Yeah. Needless to say, I had to put the gimbal and the camera up. There's no way I was doing this one-handed. Go across the slick stuff. The slick stuff's the scary stuff. But you can't tell. These bars are slick. They're wet, dirty. Look at that. It's crazy. That doesn't make you feel good when you see a broken ladder. Oops, what was that made of? Steel? Man, what's this made out of anyway? Uh, steel? Give me an idea. Still climbing up. It's okay. Just a sheer drop down. My opinion if you want to know if you can handle the prefaces hike, my suggestion is start out with the beehive hike. If you can do the beehive hike, you can do this one. It will take you longer, it will be more endurance. And it will challenge you mentally a lot more than the beehive, but that's a good warm up hike. And it keeps on going. Every bend on the going to end is a ball buster, leg buster, back buster. Mentally, are you up for this challenge? You do have to be mentally ready for this. Now I feel really bad for not letting April know in advance, but to be honest with you, I think it was good that she didn't come. Stopping at that first part was the smartest thing she could have done. Feels like my backpack's coming undone. That's my gimbal popping out of my camel bag. Bouncing off every rock. Hell of a bad time for it to do that. I'm on top edge. Trying to fix my backpack. Sure enough, it did come undone. Someone needs to make a backpack for videographers that do crazy stuff. Where you can camel bag, where you can get some water. And, and if you can, fit a laptop in there as well. Oh yeah, and it'd be able to fit under a seat in an airplane. How far is the hike back? Well, up there's 0.9. Back is like 1.6, 1.7. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's still not much of a hike. I'd rather do that than come down this. Well, we've been on the road for 20 something days and hiking everywhere. I didn't realize that I have wore the soles off my hiking boots already. Those are nice stairs. Perfect coming down. I think a lot of people make the mistake of trying to go down backwards. You're much better off to actually go forward because then you can use your shoes to grip to the rock better. You can see where you're going. If you go down backwards, you're not as comfortable going backwards. Whoa. Yeah. Good thing that was there. That could have stopped. How many photographers are freaking out about my camera not being in a case, not being on a strap? <sighs> Woohoo! I can feel it. The summit's in my reach. I have no idea when he will be finished and no idea where to pick him up exactly, as we don't have cell service working in the park here at Acadia National Park. It's what it feels like to be at the summit. It's a feeling, not just a view. We just drove over to Cadillac Mountain and the view was good, but I didn't earn it. I'm earning this every bloody step. Hey, how you doing? You made it to the summit. I don't know, I think it's still going, isn't it? Yeah, 
No, it's we're on the way down now. No, going to the summit, right? It's not the summit. I don't think so. I was rewarding myself already. Yeah, but this is probably just as good. I even called April to tell her I was at the summit. She didn't pick up. She was still mad at me. <laughs> this thing has been throwing every bit of the terrain that it can throw at us. It has thrown at us. Oh, good. More ladders. Every time you think you're done. Uh-uh. Trick for you. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Every time you think you're done, it just keeps going. I was like, we're at the summit. What the hell? We're still going up. It's better say you're done. No, this must be the telling us that we're at the summit because it's got another warning. Don't go down this way. Yeah, I was like, you guys are going the wrong way. You do realize this is a loop, right? I know. I was like, oh my God, going down? No. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's the honest it's the summit and which way to get to the car hopefully this hike isn't that bad back to the car so far it's been okay but we'll see this thing has been throwing every bit of the terrain that it can throw at us it has thrown at us so far it's been okay but we'll see this is the way down if you go back to the parking lot you can do it backwards and it is easier than the front it's still a challenge when you're out here hiking like this you want to go from Karen to Karen, that way you don't get lost. So you got a blue marker here, but there's the Karen. So what you're looking at is the blue marker telling us to look there, but obviously we can't see anything. So we're gonna go to the Karen to look for another Karen. We're gonna keep going, we didn't see a Karen. But if we don't see a Karen soon, we'll have to uh, turn around. But this looks like the trail. Still don't see any Karens. Yep, there's a blue marker, so we're good. Whoa, holy shit, that almost sucked. Woo! Definitely, you need to pay attention to the wet stuff. When it's wet, be extra cautious. This stuff's like sliding down a slide. Except for you don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, fuck! Ugh. Okay, that's twice. Like I said, this stuff is slick, 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 slick. Good thing they had made some Karens to put on top of the blue mark because it's really hard to see where you're going. Oh man, damn snake. I hate snakes. Always a snake. I've seen more snakes out northeast than I've seen all over. No good. I don't know how long it's going to take me to drive back up and around and back in to the park because my GPS isn't working either. Okay, I just came across this. Look at this edge. It looks like this was a rock slide, even though that's the trail now. Whew, man, could you imagine having those boulders coming at you? No, thank you. We're on the descent down. If you decide to go up precipice on the backside, it is much easier than the front side. It still is a little bit of a scramble. So I can officially say I'm an idiot. Somehow got on the wrong trail nowhere near my car just hitched a ride with a nice elderly gentleman that got me back to town so i can catch another ride or walk back to my car because cell service isn't working to get a hold of april who is mad at me anyway but the fun of hiking well at least i know i'm walking on the right road I saw a lady walking her dog and she said sand beach is that way three miles. My national park map of Acadia is keeping the car nice and safe. If I had that, I'd have a better idea where the hell I'm at. Luckily, I got some snacks and water in my bag. This has been helpful though. That, that's for sure. At least to a very small degree. Anyway, bye-bye. Just got done. Hitching a second ride, getting closer. Still have no cell service, I keep calling April. Um, now my phone's not even working at all. Back to the road, back to the hitchhiking. I can hear April now. She kept telling me, the cell phone's not working. What if you get lost up there? Yep, 
she told me so. Even during COVID times, people are awesome. I got to hitch a ride from a college student that was getting ready to jump on a trail. He couldn't get me all the way to Sand Beach because the road's closed, but it's supposed to be a half mile down this road, which is to the actual Sand Beach, which is not really where I gotta go, but it'll get me close. The fun of craziness of getting lost because you weren't prepared. Definitely wasn't prepared. I have found some friends. Hey, what's <laughs> up? That uh, they made a detour on the mountain as well. Same and, thing. <laughs> definitely bring a map with you. <laughs> Did, did you have that on the mountain? I did. Yeah. I was too uh, distracted by the, the beauty. Ocean and the beauty yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't have pulled it out. I mean, I was going along and I thought I was still on the trail. As far as I was concerned, I was on the trail. You thought so too. Except for I kept looking down going, the ocean's that way and I don't see the ocean anymore. Exactly. <laughs> we yep. were distracted by the beauty though. It was such a nice detour. Yeah, exactly. Can't go wrong, Acadia. No, unless you slip and fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's somewhere over there is where we were at. At the top. Yeah. Finally made it back to the parking lot. Hello. I know you're mad at me. Sorry. Okay. I want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.